What is up everyone? This is the Big Jew. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 4. Yeah, in the last episode, we got permission to open a shop. Uh, in this episode, we're going to find a way to buy the shop from the guy. Um, let me just review here. Yeah, this, this is where the shop is. Let me talk to this guy. Yeah. 35,000 gold coins is his asking price. Yeah. So, we need to find a way to get all that money. Alright, if I can stop walking around like a drunk. And yeah, here's another guy you can recruit, which I'm going to do right now. I wonder what cave he's talking about. Uh, we'll find out today. Awesome. And Hardy joins us. Awesome. Very good. Okay. Yeah, let's, ch let's check out this guy's stats, shall we? Pretty good uh, hit points, pretty good strength, uh, good weapon. He has the uh, iron lance, chainmail, leather shield. His defense power is pretty piss poor, but that's okay because ours is pretty damn epic, so whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to also uh, hire the other guy. Now these guys are going to stay around for five days. Once five days pass, they will leave. Uneventfully as well, so whatever. Absolutely. Beautiful. And now Laurel joins us. In the NES version, their names were uh, Laurent and Strom, which are much better names. They're much more badass. But, eh, whatever. Alright, now let's see, uh, Let's see what we can do to get all that money. Talk to some of these people. Yeah. Me too, man. Me too. I really don't go out drinking after work. Cool. Here we go. This guy should... There you go. He should lend us some. Certainly could use it. Well, lots of stars. Whatever, maybe she... Maybe she likes stargazing. I kind of like stargazing. I mean, not really, but whatever. Really? Cool. Would you be willing to pay $35,000? Yes, actually, he probably will. So there you go. Well, those are bookshelves. I don't really care about those, do we? No, we do not. Alright, so where is this place located? Oh yeah, here, let's go upstairs and see what that woman uh, is talking about. Is there an upstairs? Or is it... There it is. Yay. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, you know, Saro the Manslayer was in the tournament. That, if that's not a tip-off, I don't know what is. Let me tell you. Oh, by the way, the item shop sells wooden hat, or hardwood headwear. Um, so if you don't have those or whatever. Let me see. I have 15 medical herbs in the bag. That's pretty good. Let me have five more. The bag. Whoa. Yeah, and as, uh, just like the other uh, NPCs who join you, Uh, they, um, Hardy and, uh, Laurel can't, uh, carry stuff. Eh? This world's gone mad! No, I need to stop quoting that guy. Jesus Christ. It's like I want to be, like, a carbon copy of him. And then again, I do bowl, like, exactly like Norm Duke, so... Whatever. Norm Duke is a famous bowler who won his first title at 18 years old. Alright. Oh yeah, let's see if we can go to uh Zamokzva. Yeah, if you didn't notice, Lake Canaba is right next to Vernor. Oh, here it is. Right. Zenithian sword, huh? 
Oh, damn. <laughs> hmm. Cool. Oh, yeah, definitely. We'll definitely try and do that. All right. Let's see. Innkeeper doesn't really say anything much. There we go. Travel door. All right. Looks like we're on our way. Beautiful. See if... Aw. Must to return. Yeah. Well, you know, because the people in Eastern Europe uh, don't really like uh, capitalism and all that kind of deal and uh, starting businesses. Ooh. -hoo. Oh, I am so sorry. Nah, not, they're not like that anymore. Not all of them. A few of them still are, but whatever. Alright. Need to find out about this, uh... Alright. There you go. Yes. A drinker three. Why not? Oh, yeah. That's what I want to do. Break some more barrels. Some more barrel breaking! Hold on a second. Sorry. Get myself into position. I think I already got everything here. The casino, that's where we can get... Hey, it's Ragnar! What's up, man? Right? Yeah, right. I guess not then, huh? Mm. And the casino's closed, so we can't make money that way. Mm. Alright, well... The game does not point you t towards this place at all. But, the silver statue is located in this cave? Not in this cave. Let's see what's over here anyway. Right. Okay. Huh. 60,000! Sure, let me start a... Let me, let me start a shop first, yeah. Right. So, okay, we need... 35,000 to open the shop. And then another 60,000 to... Uh, you know, finish that tunnel thing. Yeah, so here's where the uh, silver statue is. The enemies here are similar to the ones in Chapter 2. Yeah, we got vampire bats here. I mean, they're nothing to us, really, to be quite honest. Laurel's gonna uh, waste lots of uh, ooh magic points with spells that don't work, so I would just not worry about that. Oh, I still have a leather shield, huh? Yeah, good deal. I'll just sell it at Bally Moral or wherever. I mean, it's not gonna matter. After getting the uh, after getting the silver statue, money's not gonna mean much. We're on a raft. There we go. Yeah, we got new enemies here. Elipus. They're just, you know, uh, octopi. I've dealt with octopi before. I can't stop. I'm sorry. Iron armor. Damn. Woo. Um, what I meant to say was, I'm on a raft. I'm on a raft. All right, enough. Enough. That song was to so two years ago. I was gonna say to 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 two years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do something about this. What we have to do is we have to submerge this area where I'm at. All right, level up. Love it. I'm gonna keep most of these fights in because they're really, really easy. I know this. Yeah, here we go. Upstairs, right here. Let's go over here. Hmm. Don't want to keep going up yet. Whoa. Focus the shoes. Focus, man. Focus. Yeah, until I get an emulator, no other way, really. Ooh, what's this thing? Push the button! Alright, enough, enough. Enough of that. 
Yeah, so we drained everything here. Cool. Yeah, we got Splatterpunks from Chapter 1. So they're here. They make a return appearance. And get owned immediately. Very good. Laurel. Yeah, this place, you, you almost need uh, Hardy and Laurel. Not as much as I needed that Oaken Club, let me tell you. 760 gold coins. Nice. That's what? 2% of the uh, 35,000 that we need? That's nice. We got Lugworms. So these are from Chapter 2. Oh, the La uh, Laurel has uh, the uh, Poison Moth uh, dagger. So he can paralyze uh, enemies. Let's get some stuff over here. Antidote Herb. Camaro wing, awesome. Alright. Alright, let's keep exploring this place. Got about a. Uh, not a half hour, uh, about five more minutes left or so. Got Bantam Weights from Chapter 1, very good. Easy enemies to kill. Oh, get some more treasure. Ah, right, a holy lance. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to keep that for later on. Okay, the encounter rate's starting to get like the NES version. Nice, Camaro Wing, yay. Never have too many of those. Oh, that, all right, that leads to the exit. Very good. Awesome. Let's go this way. And yeah, now we can we can sail around here. Uh oh my god. And we got fly guys. Yeah, fly guys from chapter two are here, so pretty much all the advanced enemies from chapter one and two are here. Awesome level up for Tornico. Yeah, we got a new spell, Eye for Distance. Uh, I think what that does is it will tell you like where the nearest town's located if you don't have a map handy, which we always do, so don't worry about that. Get some treasure. Empty, you're an asshole. You, you're a dick. Got all the treasure, damn it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I almost drowned, but, you know, I get these treasures now. Yeah, only, I, I have the only raft, so too bad, buddy. Yeah, these uh, chests contain a steel broadsword and a iron armor. If I could stop getting in the fights, that'd be very nice. That would be amazing. This way I can actually explain things. I don't know, I really hate games with... I, I, I don't know, I just never really liked RPGs with actual encounter rates. Especially high encounter rates like these ones. Yeah, they contain a uh, broadsword and a uh, iron armor, but I don't want those. Because we're going to be coming back here later in another chapter. So I don't really need to worry about them. Because so I have plenty in my inventory. Remember, six of each. So there you go. Yeah, the silver goddess statue. Beautiful. Ooh, it's shiny. Whatever. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Uh, I'm going to actually get out of here off screen. And I will meet you in Endor. Okay, here we are in Endor. Yeah, let's hand in the uh, Silver Goddess statue to the guy who wanted it. See how much money he can give us. What's up, man? Absolutely. 25,000? I need 35,000. Hell no, man. See if he changes his mind. See if he gives us any more money. No. He gives you 25000 Which means... The other 10000 uh, gold coins that you need to buy the store... You have to gold farm it. Uh, fortunately, this is not as hard as it uh, seems. Uh, I did all my grinding. I have, a, I have a save file where I already did all the uh, farming I needed to do. 
I did all my level grinding or farming, whatever, in the cave because time doesn't pass here, so we can keep my, uh, your party members, which will pretty much annihilate every enemy for you. Um, and yeah, you know, if you get like little pieces of armor, you can sell them in Valley Moral for uh, for some more money. Um, you'll be able to get, you know, your required six uh, iron armor and six broadswords. So, yeah, uh, like I said, I already did that in the save file, but it doesn't, it didn't, I mean, for me, it didn't take that long. It took, like, maybe a half hour tops, something like that. So, there you go. So, I'm going to save up all the 10,000 gold pieces that I need for, or not for the shop, but to open the shop next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Four. I was going to say something, something run, but this is just a regular, normal run. <laughs> this is the big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.